Hey folks, we're travelling around New South Wales Outback at the moment and I thought it might be a great opportunity to go through some of the safety gear we carry when we leave home. Starting from the right here, we've got a, a UHF radio, a portable one, this is only a 2 watt one, and it complements the 5 watt UHF radio we have in the vehicle. Now we use GME products only because they've been tried and proven over the last you know, couple of decades that I've been travelling out and about. They're very reliable. And the good thing about having a portable radio is in case you go walk about from the main camp, you can keep in contact with the person back at the camp. And you can also use this to help navigate through some difficult terrain and things like that. We've got a satellite phone that we carry. This is an Iridium, rugged. And this also has an SOS device on it, so it can be used as an EPIRB. This is great, you know, for not only keeping in contact with family and friends, but if you do have an emergency, you can contact the appropriate emergency services and tell them what your situation is. Now that is complemented by our EPIRB, and this is to be used in extreme situations. Uh, you know, when I, when I lift this latch here and press that button, the cavalry will certainly come from everywhere. The good thing is with the satellite phone, if I activate that and I can get to the satellite phone, and tell them the situation, they can send the appropriate resource. Now with both these devices, it's important to have them somewhere close to you from the driver's seat or the passenger seat because in the unlikely event you have a rollover and you can't get out of the vehicle, you know, you want to be able to grab this and activate it. And also, I have this, when I leave the vehicle, I carry both things with me if I go for a hike somewhere. Again, you never know what could happen. So they're really great to have with you. A fire extinguisher is a must in a vehicle. Uh, you could get a fire in the engine bay, you can get a fire underneath from grass seeds that heat up on the exhaust, so always carry a fire extinguisher. We carry a first aid kit. Uh, now this here, not only do we carry it, but we know how to use it, and that's important for all the people travelling in your vehicle, just in case the person that's trained is injured. So that's really important. And we also carry a snake bite kit, and I have this right next to my door, along with my first aid kit. So I can just grab it and deal with the situation. And I can also carry both these with me in a backpack as soon as I leave the vehicle. And that's important. So they're both very versatile. Uh, finally, we'll carry a shovel. Now this particular shovel, you can, it's got a long-handed shovel obviously, but you can just unwind that and it becomes a short-handed shovel. The shovels are great for a number of reasons. The base of the shovel can be used as a base plate for a jack in, in when you've got sandy conditions and things like that. You can also, with a long shovel, you can dig out any um, obstacles that where you've become stuck under the vehicle without getting burnt on the exhaust system. And of course you can use it to um, uh, dig your fire pit out, extinguish your fire, and uh, you can use it for when, when nature calls as well. So quite a great device. And the last thing you can also use as a cricket bat, just as a bit of a social event. <laughs> anyway, that's the basic kit we carry and I think it's something you might want to consider when you head out bush so you can travel safely just like we do.